box. This is a great pose to work the external rotation in the hip on the front leg and the internal rotation on the back hip. I'm going to take you through a few mobility drills that's going to help the comfort in getting into that shin box. Sometimes that aggravates the knees, so we're going to loosen up the hips a little bit first with the lateral hip root. What we're going to do is work eight on each side. That will be the rep count, one to one side, one to the other. And we're going to start out with our arms out right in front. Let our left knee bend forward. We're going to pull our butt straight back off that heel. We're just going to feel a nice little tug opening, creating a lap in our legs here, coming up through the middle of that foot, shifting the weight to the other side by bending the knee over that foot, using our arms to counterbalance. Pull back to one side, pull the other, eight on each side. Okay. The next drill you're going to work with that is an open chain knee circle. So all we're going to do here is bring our knee up. And what we're doing is working that internal uh, rotation of the hip and the external rotation of the hip while standing out in front like in the hamstring. Internally rotating, pulling the heel in right underneath. So this is our open chain knee circle. We'll go eight one way, we'll go eight the other direction. And then you'll do that with the other leg also. Okay, can't forget that other leg, knee up, extend, take it around. As soon as you're done there, go back to your hip root. We'll do that again, we'll do that for three sets. After that, bring yourself back down. Check that shin box. See how it feels, see if there's a little more comfort, see if you can get the back side down a little further. Check one side, check the other side. See how it goes. From here in my pigeon pose, I'm gonna help you get into this position. Help out, take out some of the tension in the hips so there's not too much discomfort in the knee, which is typical for people when they first try this. So, our first mobility drill is gonna be our frog stretch, or our frog mobility, internally rotating the hips. So you're gonna open up the ground with your knees and thighs, bringing your elbows down. We're gonna take the curve out of our lower back with a slight tuck to our hips. We're gonna just make sure we're even on both sides. Check and see if your toenails are peaking right outside your knees. Drive your heels into the mat. Go ahead and tuck and protect the Lower back, tuck the hips slightly and pull back to open up your adductors, your hamstrings. It's gonna open those up. From this position, we're gonna internally rotate, bring the outside edge of our foot up. One on one side, one on the other. That's one, two, two. Go ahead and do that eight, eight reps. Okay, the second drill we're gonna work is an external rotation drill in the hip. It's elevated pigeon. Okay, this is gonna give you a tool help you get into your pigeon pose without too much discomfort in the knee. So we'll use this box here. Press through it, bring our shin and knee on it. And you can bring your foot up as far as comfort allows. And you feel that hip open up a little more. And we'll just lengthen out, sinking into our hips and let our spine lengthen out right in front. You feel the opening on the back side of that hip. And we'll posture up, shoulders over our hips, and then internally rotate. Open up the outside of the front leg. That's one. You do that again. Two. Two. Do that eight times, then switch. Press through your box, bring your other knee up. Same thing on this side, give you a view from this side, sliding back into that hip. Try to keep as much of your thigh down above that knee as possible, and that'll keep the knee safe. Then you're gonna lengthen out, out the front. So that opening up, smaller your back outside of your hip. Coming up and then internally rotating. Lengthening now for your second rep. Go ahead and go through both mobility drills the frog stretch, the elevated pigeon. Do about three rounds of those, eight reps. And then go ahead and come back down, chest your pigeon pose out. See if you feel a little comfortable now. See if you can slide back in a little deeper, rotating your hip down a little more. Okay, go ahead and try those out. Let me know how it feels. I'm here in my king pigeon. I'm gonna go over some mobility drills that are gonna help open up your quad on the back leg and your mid back and chest to help you achieve this from the pigeon. First drill we're gonna work on is a mobility drill to open up your mid back and chest. So we'll start out in a kneeling lunge position. We're gonna rotate the back hip, bring your inside hand down right next to the foot. You're just gonna pull back like you're pulling on a bow and arrow. Bring your elbows straight up. Open up your mid back and chest. Mid back there. Pull back, open up. Do that a few times, depending on where your mobility and comfort is. 
bring the hands, open it all the way up. We'll go ahead and do eight reps on one side. And we'll go ahead and rotate and get the other side. Eight times. Okay. Rotate that back hip. Hands down, pull like you're pulling a bow and arrow. Elbow straight back at first. Open it up. Pressing the earth away from your foot and hand. Open up the back leg. Open up, open up the back. Arm, hip. Next drill we're gonna work is gonna be from our shin box. Now we're already, already got good work in this position already. So we should already have been here in this position and be comfortable here. What you're gonna do from here is point the back foot and if you had shoes on, you'd be rolling over the top of your foot. Just like if you had shoes on, you'd be rolling over your laces. From there, you can work in your back elbow. As you do that, you'll feel the tension increase from bringing your butt closer to your heel. All you gotta do from here is squeeze your hip, drive that hip forward to release the quad of hip. And then we'll come up to our hand and extend. Opening up the chest, bicep and opposite shoulder, all the way to opposite hip, pulling back and down. That'll be one rep. Two. Okay, working that quad on that back leg. And you'll just do the same thing with the other side. Point the foot, get on top of your foot. So if you had on shoes, you'd be on your laces. Pull your butt back, feel the quad, the flexor opening up. And press through the back hand. Open up the arm, hip, ribs, chest. That's one rep. Going back only as far as your comfort allows. Maybe this might be far enough. You can work your shoulder back a little bit at a time. Standing and breathing through. Once we're done there, you can go back in to your king pigeon after doing a few sets of those mobility drills. Pulling your butt back, trying to get your foot up in front so your shins are eventually parallel. Internally rotate the back hip, sliding in, sinking into the ground. Trying to sit close to the ground and inhale. Let the air fill your ribs, chest, lungs, so lengthen your spine. And then bending your back leg, reach back, exhaling. Bring the leg, let it slide through your forearm all the way through the crook of your elbow. Inhale your ribs, chest up again, and then reach back. Collapsing your fingers together, little S grip. Exhale, push the earth away from you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, drive away from the earth, pressing through your foot. Release there. Right on down. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And that's how you get into your king pigeon.